Western Hemisphere leaders gather in Los Angeles for Summit of the Americas, June 14th, 20 of 22. Hi, everybody. My name's James. Welcome to California High Desert Preacher. Today's video is going to be discussing. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Now, the video I'm about to tell you about is very, 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 very concerning, especially if you're a citizen of the United States of America. I want to warn you this could cause your blood pressure to rise. Leaders from the Western Hemisphere, with few notable absences, gathered in Los Angeles last week for their ninth summit of the Americas. Including Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Stephen Gibault, I am also pleased to welcome to our state Canada's Ambassador to the United States, Her Excellency Kristen Hillman, and I'm of course delighted to see our good friends here in California, Consul General in Los Angeles, Sheik, and Consul General in San Francisco, Sarkar. Today, California and Canada are elevating our joint commitment to combating climate change, signaling our resolve to work together to advance and lead the way to a more sustainable and technologically advanced future. This should come as no surprise, as Canada and California have already established a proven track record of working together on the existential environmental issues of our time. We're here in Santa Barbara County, home to one of the longest running cloud seeding operations in the country. We've got some ground-based cloud seeding equipment right here, and we're gonna get to hear all about how it works and see it in action. Let's check it out. Cloud seeding is the most common type of weather modification, and it has many different techniques and applications. Today, it's mostly used to increase rain and snowfall, reduce the size of hail, and reduce fog at airports. Traditionally, cloud seeding has been done from the air. So air airplanes have had racks on them where these same flares are positioned on the airplane, and the airplane flies into the storm. So in order to reduce the cost of the client and reduce our carbon footprint, uh, we've been able to station these on the ground. Now we can do this in places where weather permits. Behind a barbed wire fence designed to keep away curious cattle, the cloud seeding gear awaits the right kind of weather. California's Air Resources Board signed an MOU with Canada's Ministry of Environment and Climate Change in 2019. And 10 years earlier, in 2009, CARB signed agreements with the provinces of Quebec and British Columbia, both of which are also members, along with California, of the Under Two Coalition. Today, we take our climate change partnership to the next level. Also, now they're going to be using climate change as a reason to form a militarized uh, subdivision of police and law enforcement to try and control how much water electricity and oil and propane and gas that you use to uh, use to cook, heat, and take care of your family and your home and your vehicle. And it's starting here in California first because President Joe Biden has allowed Governor Gavin Newsom to sign a treaty with President Trudeau from the China, which was formerly known as Canada. Let's look, though, at exactly what's really going. Let's look under all the layers of garbage and garbly gook and see exactly what's being done. So all these different members of heads of state that are coming from North and South America and around the world to meet here and sit down and make verbal and written agreements and contracts We'll find out specifically according to the Constitution of the United States, unconstitutional and against the Constitution in the main state law of the United States of America. My friends, I offer you Exhibit A, the Constitution of the United States, where it talks about in Article 1, Section 10, 
powers denied state. And it goes on to say, and I'll just put this out as quickly as possible in layman's terms. No government shall make any treaty or contracts with any foreign body or government concerning anything to do with the United States. As a matter of fact, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom already broke this uh, stipulation of the Constitution of the United States when he signed a climate change contract with the governor of the state of Oregon. That was an infraction and breaking the law of the Constitution of the United States. And what Joe Biden should have done was put out a federal arrest warrant for both of these governors and had them placed into custody and charged against crimes against the Constitution and the people of the United States. But no, that's probably not going to happen. So because of that, what I'm trying to share with you is that neither can Joe Biden uh, President Joe Biden or the governors of any given states of the United States of America can sign any treaty against the Constitution of the United States as it is stipulated in Article 1, Section 10, where the Constitution denies these states of head the powers that they are trying to exercise and abuse against is using powers against the American people to manipulate to be tyrannical, to be controlling, and to destroy our way of life. I will leave all this down in the description part of the video for you to read and along with the link to this website right here. And you can study this further. It's very clear. Clause 3, as requiring consent of Congress, no state shall without the consent of Congress lay any duty of Tonnage, keep troops or ships of war in time of peace, enter in any agreement or compact with another state or with a foreign power or engage in war unless actually invaded or in such imminent danger as well as not admit of delay. It's that simple. So what am I asking you to do about it? First of all, I'm speaking to my friends and my neighbors my fellow Americans and members of the body of Christ, my brothers and sisters, you need to call the State Department. You need to call the uh, U.S. Attorney General. You need to call every member of Congress. You need to call, if you live in the state of California, uh, the state capitol, leaving messages for Gavin Newsom. You need to call the United States president, the White House, and you need to very furiously, passionately complain about this. But most important of all, you need to tell your friends, your family, your neighbors, and your loved ones what's taking place. Spread the word. Use this video. Point them into the right direction and tell them this is not going to be acceptable. We now have to finally lay down the line in the sand and say enough is enough. We can't do this anymore. We have had it. If we don't, stop them now. This is going to be 10 times worse than Coward 19 ever thought about. Black Rock Corp right now is buying up all the homes around North America, but especially, particularly in Canada. And they're buying the homes pennies on the dollars, and they're evicting the homeowners, and they're pulling their homeowner loans, and the banks are denying their loans. And people are ending up homeless in record numbers right now in Canada because corporations like Black Corp and governments like the United States government and the government of Canada with leaders like Joe Biden and Justin Trudeau are doing exactly what they have been instructed to do by the New World Order, United Nations, One World Government. Four years ago, my friends, four, I told you these things were coming and I was laughed at, scoffed at, and made fun of and been called a conspiracy theorist. My friends, 
The new world order, one world government, United Nations is no longer a conspiracy theory. Where do you think Coward 19 came from? I want to encourage you, if you are a born-again believer, to fall on your knees, repent of your sins, go out and pick up your cross, preach the gospel, but pray fast and pray for the United States of America. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you. I'm out of here. There are many whites who are trying to solve the problem, but you never see them going under the label of liberals. That, that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire Western Hemisphere. He's the most deceitful. He's like a fox. And a fox is, almost, is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. Three, six, two. Did not come to the world.